Sometimes, it's hard to see stars and galaxies as something inanimate. Their life cycle is much like our own, and the sheer scale of what is around is completely mind-blowing. Therefore, we use concepts of birth, life, and death without quotation marks when talking about galaxies. In this episode, you'll learn what the dead galaxies are, what dramatic events bring such gigantic cosmic formations to their demise. You'll be surprised to learn that much like some people, galaxies die very young. You'll see for yourself that even dead galaxies are no less, if not even more interesting than living ones. Our journey's starting point takes us to a galaxy that was born at the dawn of the universe more than 12 billion years ago. This dim and inconspicuous galaxy might have never claimed astronomers' attention. But, as you know, one shouldn't judge the book by its cover, especially if you were looking at something through a telescope that is 10 billion light years away, which coincidentally is the exact distance from Earth to Mach S2129-1. When the Hubble Orbiting Telescope first started its operation, it became clear that it's not powerful enough to obtain clear pictures within the visible spectrum. The European Southern Observatory joined the research with its ground-based telescope with quite the humble official name of the Very Large Telescope. By comparing VLT data and Hubble's archived observations, scientists were able to draw unexpected conclusions. Now, this picture is something special. Here, one can see a whole set of amazing effects that can only be observed on a universal scale. This red spindle-shaped narrow oval object is the Mach S2129-1 galaxy. But the way it looks is actually quite misleading. Here's the thing. A whole cluster of galaxies is much closer to us, and their powerful total gravity creates a gravitational lensing effect. Before reaching us, the light from the Mach S2129-1 galaxy passes through a specific zone where this effect takes place. Therefore, the galaxy looks brighter than it should, and its shape is greatly distorted. Other galaxies nearby are clearly visible, but are blurred and distorted in the same way. The closest approximation of what Mach S2129-1 looks like is seen in the second highlighted square. This image was obtained by astronomers by using sophisticated software algorithms that removed the gravitational influence of the galaxy cluster. But what is wrong with this galaxy for it to send shockwaves in the global scientific community? The strangest thing here is Mach S2129-1's form. It looks like a typical flat spiral galaxy, which is similar to our Milky Way in many ways. However, it's three times more massive, being only half the size and it rotates more than twice as fast. The stars in Mach S2129-1 orbit the galaxy's center at a speed of over 500 kilometers per second. According to various estimates on the galaxy's mass, there may be up to a trillion stars in it, but it hasn't formed any new stars for billions of years and can be considered dead in this regard. What then seized the star formation in Mach S2129-1, turning it into a yellow-red cooling graveyard of old stars? There is no agreement among researchers on this matter. One of the recent hypotheses that gets the most traction is that dark matter, which lurks near almost every galaxy, is at fault. 
Presumably, it could provoke acceleration and extreme heating of regular intergalactic space matter, thereby depriving the galaxy of building materials necessary to form new stars. Let's take one more step in our journey. And by step, I mean moving over 9 billion light years deeper in outer space. NGC 1277 Galaxy was first discovered in 2018 by the Hubble Telescope. It is 240 million light years away from Earth. In the case of Mach S2129 1, we could only see the galaxy's condition 10 billion years ago, with no way of knowing what happened to it up to the present moment. Here, the reverse is true. The galaxy is relatively close, and scientists can say for sure that it has not formed new stars in the last 10 billion years, effectively rendering it dead. But of course, this was not always the case. And from what we know, its young years were quite crazy, to say the least. Researchers argue that following the galaxy's formation, new stars lit up 1,000 times faster than they do now in our Milky Way. Such a formation rate is absolutely inconceivable. In short, our galaxy produces the equivalent of three solar masses of new stars per year. That's an average of one or two stars, while NGC 1277 spawns many hundreds and even thousands of stars per year. But these days are far behind, specifically about 10 billion years ago. On a universal scale, NGC 1277 can be seen as a precautionary tale of the Earth's jungle law in action. Galaxies also have to make a choice between devouring their peers or dying. NGC 1277 chose the latter. Scientists are almost unanimous on what caused this galaxy's untimely death. NGC 1277 is moving too fast. It rushes through the Perseus Galaxy Cluster at a speed of about 3.2 million kilometers per hour and cannot gain mass by feeding on the intergalactic matter or smaller clusters. Another thing that led NGC 1277 to its sad fate is the dangerous route. It moves not far from the Perseus Cluster's center, which has quite an unfavorable environment. The intergalactic gas is too hot to form the building blocks for new stars. Metaphorically speaking, NGC 1277 died of starvation and exhaustion. For the same reason, the galaxy couldn't fully form. Astronomers even call it a galaxy with arrested development. NGC 1277 has twice as many stars as the Milky Way, but is only a quarter of our galaxy's size. Yet another surprising thing about NGC 1277 is an anonymously massive black hole in its center. It might be fully or at least partially responsible for the galaxy's rapid burnout. But for all the massiveness of this black hole, it is a far cry from another monster lurking in the center of M87, another dead galaxy. It's time we pay it a visit. The galaxy is located approximately 53 million light years from Earth. Although it is insanely far away, it is virtually a stone's throw from us when compared to the distance of the Mach S2129-1. The relative proximity and gigantic size of the galaxy contributed to its early discovery in 1781 by the French astronomer Charles Messier. 
The letter M in the name indicates the discoverer's name. According to the new General Catalogs classification, the object is called NGC 4486. The galaxy is observed at the upper border of the constellation Virgo, just below the constellation Coma. If we held an intergalactic competition, then M87 would take prizes in several nominations at once. This galaxy is the largest in the constellation Virgo, the second brightest in the cluster of the same name, and one of the most massive in the local supercluster of galaxies, which is also called the Virgo Supercluster. M87 belongs to supergiant galaxies. It reaches 120,000 light years in diameter. This is slightly larger than the Milky Way's radius, but the galaxies are by no means similar. M87 is not a flat spiral, but a sphere weighing a whopping 2.7 trillion solar masses. According to various estimates, the total mass of M87 may exceed the Milky Way by 200 times, with about 12,000 clusters against our 150 to 200. It also surpasses our galaxy by almost two orders of magnitude in terms of the number of globular star clusters. However, all this massiveness and abundance of stars does not change anything in terms of whether the galaxy is dead or alive. The star formation has virtually ceased, meaning that M87 is dead. What brought the galaxy to its demise is the infamous overeating, which was already mentioned in our video. The galaxy consumed everything it could reach throughout its life and eventually got depleted of all the material suitable for star formation. Currently, M87 presents great interest for scientists because of its intensive processes, although they are not related to star formation. For example, on February 26, 1919, it was in this galaxy that the supernova SN1919A's flare was detected. But what makes this galaxy truly special is what's inside. The galaxy can brag about a supermassive black hole within a mass of about 3.5 billion solar masses right in its center. It is one of the most massive objects known to date. An accretion disk of ionized gas orbits this black hole, with a jet escaping at 99% the speed of light. The jet of incandescent plasma extends for at least 4,900 light years. It was this black hole that a set of radio telescopes from the Event Horizon Telescope Project captured in 2019. This is the first and the only real radiographic image of a black hole's shadow in the world. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. This motivates us to make new cool videos for space lovers around the globe.